All right, so here is my official review, ladies and gentlemen, of the Ultimate Lightsabers 2.0 from Saber Masters. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got tape. We got some uh, Allen keys and screws. More tape. Two USB chargers. Um, we got the manual, which is the most important thing. We actually have two of them, so one per lightsaber. And then we have the hilts. Very light. They're definitely weighted, so I mean, there's the charging, there's the charging point right here. Here's our on button, and we got the Saber Masters logo. And here we go to Jet Black Saber Masters lightsabers. I think we're gonna charge these guys before I power them on. Let's do that, shall we? Charging. Charging. That should do it. Okay, so before I start training with the ob -E, the windmill, the spins and everything, um, first thing I should mention is that this lightsaber is definitely different from the ones you've seen on YouTube. Uh, first of all, if I press and hold for about one flash. Unstable. Volume low. Mute. Volume high. Pulse. Okay, so if you press and hold for one flash, it will change the volume. Volume low. Mute. So if you want to put it on mute and do your lightsaber practices at night without any sound whatsoever, you can. And as you can see, yeah, I just turned it on. One, two, three. Press and hold for three flashes, the beam will turn off. Uh, if I press and hold and it flashes twice, it will change the mode of the beam itself. Unstable. Personally, I prefer the pulse. Pulse. Volume high. And I like to keep the volume high, so. Press and hold all the way, it will close the beam. If you hold it down for three times, so one, two, three. Clash off. Okay, actually this does clash. So if you hold it and it blinks three times, it does the clash. So one, two, three. Clash on. And clash, for those of you that don't know, is when you bang it, so. So when you set it to clash off, it will not make that effect. So if you set it to clash on and you clash with another lightsaber or an object, it will make a hitting sound. So motion control is like one, two, three, four. Motion control off. Okay, so you have to press and hold it for four times. So one, two, three, four. Motion control on. So then you twist it and there you go. There's actually been some changes to the actual uh, sound of the saber, especially with this new version. So if I actually press all the way, like for about a couple seconds. The protector. 
Wanderer. The Knight. The Assassin. The Dark Sword. Okay, so the good news is we still have the Dark Sword and the Princess. All these other new voices, they're, I'm not going to lie, they're pretty much new to me. So I am i have no clue what to expect when I do these. Also, when he actually mentions these uh, words like the protector and the princess, what have you, it actually changes the sound of the sword. So I'm going to set it back to my personal favorite. The Dark Empress. There we go. Dark Empress. Now, there are some tricks that you could do when you turn it on. For instance, one of them would be you press the button and you can deflect a blaster. So, press it again and it will release. Color change. Okay, so if you press and hold for one, for one second it will cycle through the colors and then whenever you find the color you want you just press it and then your color is good to go so i'm just going to change it back to red color selected there we go so the only thing i haven't been able to get right so far was the solid color selection i don't know how that's actually happening but uh, apparently the only thing i've managed to get working is that you turn off the blade you hold it for two seconds and then well actually i'll just turn this on yeah uh for some reason uh my blade i don't know why but I cannot get the solid color selection right. The only thing I'm able to get as of now would be the RGB. So it will cycle through the colors and then you just have to pretty much uh, select it to uh, make it your own. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I have so far for the um, Saber Masters lightsaber. And um, I have another one. Uh, it's actually charging right now. And yeah, so it's pretty much a, a two for the price of one. Honestly, I've, I've always wanted a lightsaber. I never thought I would come across these guys. But then again, I mean, they're everywhere on Facebook and uh, social media. So yeah, there's, um, it's always unpredictable when you come across ads for lightsabers and you end up coming across this one. So yeah, pretty interesting. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this saber because, you know, I want to, you know, train with it, work on some windmills, obianis, and all those uh, lightsaber tricks, what have you. It may take a while, but you know what? You know how it is. Every journey of a Jedi always begins with training. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, so what kind of review would I give this thing? I'd give it... Uh, Probably a four out of five, only because um, I'm still trying to find out how the heck do you get the solid color. And right now I'm still having trouble doing that. So yeah, uh, that's the only thing I still haven't been able to get. And also um, it's really weird because the sound of the saber, they did a lot of changes and um, one one specific sound that I was looking for when I got these Saber Masters was the, uh, the Count. Because obviously I wanted a red blade with Count Dooku's uh, sounds. And um, unfortunately I had to settle for... Because obviously the sounds have changed since this version. And yeah, they've done many changes. I mean, like I said, the Dark Sword and the Princess are still there. The only difference is they made... A lot of changes as far as uh, the sounds of uh, the blade are concerned, but uh, either that or they probably changed the name of these blades uh, constantly. So, 
you never know because uh, you know you look at other youtube videos uh they have these ultimate uh, saber 2.0s but their sounds are completely different uh well the layout of the sound is completely different so not gonna lie that threw me off for a bit but you know what Bottom line, I like having a red blade, and I love the nasty saber sound that it makes when uh, it's uh, the blade of a Sith Lord. So, what can I say? I'm one with the Sith, so. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much my review for the, the Ultimate Lightsabers 2.0 from Saber Masters. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.